the old SAT has lots of stories and people hate those. They get very like just kind of flustered. They don't know, there's too many words. But my advice then is my advice now. Just take it one piece at a time, really narrow your focus. And remember that you don't need to like generate the answer. There are four answers listed here for you. So think of it more like you're testing the answers that they give you. So let's just, let's just start at the bottom here. Six, that's what I need to figure out. What does the six mean? Well, if I look at the equation, the six is attached to the y. So maybe we should find out what the y means. That might be helpful. They say y is the number of sides of figure B. Well, then what the heck is figure A doing in choices C and D? I don't know, shouldn't be there. We're talking about figure B, so that's probably it. So now we're down to a smaller set of choices to sort through. So let's see, each side of figure B has a length of six inches or the number of sides of figure B is six. So I don't know yet what this is all about. Now I'm gonna look at the story in a little bit more detail. Figure A and figure B, they're both those. The sum of the perimeter figure A and the perimeter figure B is 63 inches. The, where X is the number of sides of figure A and Y is the number of sides of figure B. Well, wait a minute. The number of sides of figure B, isn't that exactly what choice B says? So wait a minute, they just told me in the question that Y is the number of sides of figure B. So six can't be, that's what Y is, they told me that. So I guess it has to be A. Look at that, you see, we didn't really need to understand what the six was, we were just able to kind of process of elimination our way there, that's okay. Remember, in the reading section this works too, right? You don't need to summarize everything, you don't need to kind of come at it and come up with your own answer. Like when your teacher asks you a question in school, you have to on the fly answer that. This isn't an essay. You don't have to produce the response. There are four answers there. Your job is to evaluate the summaries that you're given. Evaluate those, check them off. You're just kind of testing things. You're not necessarily coming up with the answer yourself. If you can get over that, then these stories become a lot easier. You can take the one piece at a time. You can let the answer choices tell you what to care about. And you'll be surprised. Most of them are much easier than they seem if you just read them yourself.